Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is your boy, friend, Mark Roden, coming back with you with another banger. It's the top 10 plus one honorable mention, so technically 11 Fords that you can buy for less than $10,000, buddy. Uh, really quick, I'm going to start saying it in every video and have no shame in it. Over 80% of you guys aren't subscribed, and I know, I know, you, you might have just forgot to, you know, I, I, just saying, or maybe you don't like me that much, but if you do like me, or if you just forgot to, and you haven't subscribed yet, you know, just hit that subscribe button. Let's get that number into the 70%. How about that? Let's make a deal here, buddy. But uh, I do appreciate all the support either way, guys. If you don't want to subscribe, you don't have to. I understand. But it would help the channel out, and I would really appreciate it. If you guys want to support the channel any more than you already are, head on over to www.smoothstance.com shop. Pick yourself up any merch. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right, so coming in at the number 10 spot is going to be the 1965 mustang or really just any of the first generation mustangs if you can find it under five thousand dollars they all have different engines making different horsepower because back then they used to change engine sizes and like engine power all the damn time like every year it was a different horsepower you guys ever notice that with old muscle cars old muscle cars every year it's like is a completely different than the last year i kind of like it. it was cool but either way though the 65 mustang was always going to be rear wheel drive and they had a manual transmission which is awesome also they are just like a living time capsule like you look you look like freaking some guy from the 1960s driving around in one of these things the only reason i didn't put this car much higher on the list is because they are very hard to find for under like ten thousand dollars in good enough condition to be like worth it to be honest but it can be done you just have to be really patient Next up at the number 9 spot, however, is kind of the complete opposite of the Mustang, and it is the wonderful Ford Fusion, baby. Yes, sir, you already know the Ford Fusion is here to stay. Now, any generation is fine, to be honest. They're pretty much all under $10,000, too, but we will be talking about the first gen here because they're a lot cheaper, and they come with a 3.5 liter V6 that makes a very nice, actually, 258 horsepower. It was front-wheel drive, but it also had all-wheel drive options, and to be honest with you, that power number kind of surprised the shit out of me. Like, it's not fast by any means, but that's also not slow, either. And, like, remember, guys, you can always mod these things to be a little bit faster, so if you don't like to 258 horsepower just you know put a little put a little mods into it just don't sink too much money into it though because that's when it becomes like unreliable and to be honest with you it's kind of a waste of money since it is just a fusion number eight is once again kind of the complete opposite of the last one it is the wonderful ford ranger there's like a very scary cult following for these trucks that i swear they must have like fan clubs or something because they're everywhere and if they like ford rangers they're gonna let you know they like ford rangers but i guess it's for good reason because they come with a three liter v6 making 150 horsepower and it was either four by four or rear wheel drive depending on which mode you put it in obviously it has that little shifter that you can put it into four by four mode if you want to but and sure that's not fast at all it only has 150 horsepower but this is a mini truck boys okay it's not meant to go fast you just add a lift kit on it put some big old tires on her and go off road i recently did that in a jeep and it is so much more fun than it looks okay i was never an off-road kind of guy but my friend zach bought a jeep and i went off-road with him and it is a blast i totally understand the hype now Number seven, though, is going to a Mustang again, but this time it is an old man uniform and doesn't get pulled over by the cops as much because they think you're one of them. It is the wonderful Ford Taurus show, specifically the second generation, but the first generation is cool too. By the way, I just want to put it out there. I don't know why I said it's a Mustang. This is not a Mustang. <laughs> I wrote that in my script and I was just reading off my script and now I, I don't know why I said that. But either way though, it comes with a crazy 3.5 liter twin turbocharged V6, making a huge 365 horsepower going to all the damn wheels, buddy. Not e even the freaking spare tire gets power. That's a lie, obviously this car doesn't have power going to the spare tire, but this car once again looks incredibody boring in my opinion, and you probably like shouldn't show up to any car meets in one of these or everybody might leave. But if you're a lone ranger who just likes to gap unsuspecting victims, this is an amazing choice. They're absolute sleeper cars. And yes, they look like cop cars, so it might not be like the most appealing car to you. But if you're just like into the sleeper, you know, go fast life style, this is this is for you. Number six, my good friend, goes to another car that the cops might not pull you over in, but only if you have access to time travel, because it is the Ford Crown Victoria, my sir. Still one of the best bargain deals on the market, in my opinion, in, in general, not just with Fords, just in general, they're an amazing bargain. And they come with a 4.6 liter V8, making a crazy 239 horsepower, and it was rear wheel drive. And these boys at Ford, I'm starting to realize they have a sneaky obsession with horsepower. They gave a damn town car a V8 and a Fusion, a Ford Fusion has more horsepower than most Volkswagen GTIs. What is Ford doing? 
but either way i mean the crown vic is still like one thousand dollars for a decent one and you get tons of power and it's rear wheel drive so it's still a bargain deal also you can make more power if you want to because it's got a four six halfway through the list and it is going to a car that i feel like all of us really liked when we were younger but now we kind of think they just look odd and we don't really talk about them enough it is the ford focus svt this thing bro it looks like a beetle i don't know why but it looks like a beat not like a volkswagen beetle but like an actual beetle it weirds me out sometimes but either way they come with a two liter inline four making a pretty decent 170 horsepower and it was front wheel drive because it's a hatchback and that is like a code of conduct or something when building a hatchback for some reason and yes they may look horrible and no they don't have the most aftermarket support to make them look better but if you want something that handles corners like an absolute boss and was kind of a successor to the escort actually then this is a great option like the escort was a cool car that we never got in america all the cool escorts i'm talking about i'm not talking about those escorts that are hideous i'm talking about the cool escorts we never got those in america and the focus svt is kind of like an, a, like the successor to that and it's pretty cool number four however is going to one of the most iconic fords ever and i'm going to hurt some feelings when i say this but that's thanks to the ls engine Ooh, bars it is the ford mustang gt fox body they come stock at least without without the you know ls swap a five liter v8 making a very decent for its time 205 horsepower and it was rear wheel drive and now i want to make it clear it depends on the year that you get the amount of power that you're going to get but either way the best option for this car is honestly and i know it's going to make ford guys mad but it really is just to find a junkyard ls and make a ridiculous amount of horsepower and then go to some like 13 20 video cash days event and just win it all i mean this chassis is just amazing for drag racing it is so good for drag racing that they even make like no fox bodies allowed street races nowadays that's how good it is they're like getting freaking outlawed because of how good they are so like if you want this chassis absolutely buy it but i do recommend swapping it with an ls Third place, however, is going to kind of the opposite of the Mustang that we just talked about. Actually, the complete opposite of the Mustang that we just talked about because it's not even in the same same realm. It is the Ford F-250 10th generation. I, I don't know if Ford guys, like truck guys, call their trucks by their generations, but this is the 10th gen. And yes, there are that many generations of the F-Series now. It's kind of crazy. But this monster comes with a 6-liter turbo diesel v8 making a very nice 325 horsepower and it was 4x4 obviously but it could be rear wheel drive if you don't put it in 4x4 mode and this is for the guy who just needs a work truck they are a diesel truck for under five thousand dollars that doesn't look horrible and is not like old as hell so i gotta give it to them i'm not the biggest truck guy but this seems like a very good deal to me let me know if i'm wrong in the comments though if you are a truck guy please because i don't want to like misinform people it just seems like this is a good one Second place is going to be one of the only tuner style cars to come from America that I wouldn't mind driving. It is the Ford Focus ST. Yes, they dropped the V and SVT because they are Ford and they make poor choices. It doesn't make any sense to me either. But either way, this little hatchback is a freaking monster. It comes with a two liter turbocharged inline four making 252 horsepower and it was obviously you guessed it front wheel drive and now i don't want to be the guy to say it but i am not a huge fan of american tuner cars like the cobalt the neon the uh what did what did uh what did ford make back then? oh the the old focuses i think they did make banger muscle cars obviously and they know what they're doing when making like powerful engines and great trucks but i usually just don't like the uh like smaller economy cars however the focus st doesn't really scream american it more screams like european and i think that's what makes it so great it is just like it is a perfect hatchback it's great i love them honorable mention for today goes to the rebadged mazda mx6 it is the ford probe gt nobody talks about them so i'm here to do it for you they come with a 2.2 liter turbocharged inline four yes it has a turbo on it making a nice 165 horsepower and it was front wheel drive and like i said if you like the mazda mx6 you might like this even more to be honest because it has pop-up headlights and the mx6 doesn't have pop-up headlights and that makes it 10 times cooler but since it is a mazda at heart it is just as unreliable as a mazda so have fun with that First place, however, is going to, of course, a Mustang. I mean, what did you expect, buddy? It is the Ford Mustang GT New Edge, to be exact. And they are still, to this day, one of the best platforms to build for less than $5,000, hands down, all right? They come with a 4.6 liter V8, making a very decent 215 horsepower going to the rear wheels. And now that number we all know can very easily change to be a lot higher, but even if you don't want to change the number to be a lot higher, they are a good little sports car. Sure, they don't have like 400 horsepower and they weigh 10 tons like most muscle cars do, but I actually kind of like what Ford did with this generation of Mustang. They made it like a much more nimble platform to drive around in, so it handles a lot better and it's like more, you know, 
control it's more of like a miata in a way also i am sorry for everybody who watched the vid where i said that these cars come with a five liter v8 google lied to me so i am sorry they do not come with a five liter they come with a 4.6 liter that is my bad but yeah this car is just so cool and i know it's not like super big and bulky like most mustangs are but I think that's what makes it so much cooler. Like, it's it's a good handling car, but it can be fast if you want it to be. But, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of today's video of the top 10, technically 11, fours that you can find under $10,000. Yes, sir. Once again, guys, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because we're a little low on the subscriptions. They're a little low. Let me know what other videos you like to see. For In terms of the uh, Integra build, they haven't updated you guys on that yet. It's because I have nothing to update you on. I'm literally just sitting here waiting for parts once I get here. And I have a lot of parts too. So once I get here, it's going to be pretty frequent. We're going to try to do two videos a week, but most likely going to do one video a week so that it doesn't get super boring and it goes out the window super quick. We're going to try and like kind of draw it out a little bit so that you guys have more videos to watch throughout the length of time instead of just be like, here's a bunch of videos. Integra build is done. You know what I mean? Like that would just, I feel like that would be more boring than if it was like one video a week. But let me know what you guys want to see. If you want to see two videos of the car a week, I can do that if you want to see one video of the car a week i can do that obviously money's an issue though so if it's like going if i'm like trying to buy wheels or something for it or like i don't know something that's more expensive like a wrap or something that might take a little bit longer and it might not be two in one week but you guys understand what i'm trying to say anyway guys thank you so much for watching das vidania have a nice night